Hey Guitar Heroes, Eric Andreas, your Guitar Sage here, and today I'm going to quickly go over uh, the proper posture and the proper way to hold your pick. So if you're a beginner guitar player, this is a great place to start because uh, everybody starts at the beginning, including Jimi Hendrix and Eddie Van Halen and all the greats in time have started right where you're at today. So hopefully uh, you will get something from this video. We're going to go over some, some bits and pieces here. They're going to help a ton. Okay. Uh, so this is part of my first 30 lessons that I teach all my students. You can find that link below. It's free or visit me in Nashville and we'll take several weeks and several hundred dollars from you and I'll teach you there. Otherwise, hit the link below and you'll get it for free and I'll go over a lot of beginner stuff for you, okay? All right, so first off, let's talk about the proper way to hold your guitar and there's a few different ways that you can do this, but why it is that we're doing it and then we're also gonna be talking about um, the proper way to hold the pick, okay? So, uh, when holding the guitar, usually most folks will put it on their dominant thigh. So what does that mean, Eric? Well, it's the, the thigh that is in correlation to their dominant hand. And in my case here, I'm a righty, so I'm going to hold this on my right thigh. My wife is a lefty, so she holds it on her left thigh. Now, it's not to say that you can't hold it here. That's totally fine. But you're in a little bit of a weirder position here, okay? Uh, so this is nice and comfortable. This is known as the folk position, as opposed to the classical position where you hold, you do hold it on the opposite thigh, but typically you have some sort of stool or something to hold your, your left thigh up off the ground and it holds the guitar at a different angle, okay? You'll find that this creates a little bit more back fatigue, but it, but it makes you sit up better and, um, and there's some other reasons why classical guitar players do this. Now, it's, if you're a classical guitar player, you definitely want to play that way. If you're playing some other style, 99 times out of 100, you're going to find folks holding it on, you know, the, the, the knee that makes most sense or the thigh that makes most sense, okay? And reason being is the rib, the ribs right here of the guitar are going to rest real nicely there. You're going to take your arm and you're going to kind of just nicely, you're not gripping it like this. You're just kind of very you know, gently, gingerly, just kind of holding it there like you would a stack of books or something like that, okay? And we're doing this because when we do play, we don't want to be grabbing the neck like this. Inevitably, most players do this in the beginning. They grab the neck like a shovel. You don't really want to do that. And I have videos for that. Again, the, the, the free 30 uh, lessons, the first 30 lessons that I teach all my students, I go over this in, in some real fine detail. So you'll want to make sure that you that you check that out, okay? But um, when you're holding the guitar like this, it allows for your body and your arm to hold the guitar in place so that the neck's not moving around, you know, and you can play chords properly instead of having to hold the guitar up and now your chords are being compromised, okay? So important to do that and to hold your, your guitar in between your thigh and your arm like this, okay? Now, as far as holding the pick, I have some special picks here. So I'm going to take a standard pick, and I'm going to show you exactly what, we're, what I'm doing here. So you can see that this is a you know, regular triangle pick. Okay? Most picks look like this. And what you want to do is you want to take that longest end and point it up, and then point it towards the guitar. Nine times out of ten, that's what you want to do. It's not to say that you can't hold a pick or do any anything that I'm telling you right now. These are rules of thumb. These are what seem to work for 99% of the guitar players out there. Now, if you wanted to do something different, you totally could. You're not going to break anything, but these are what makes things easier. So I'm trying to help you. So you take that longer end, point it towards the guitar, and you could play anywhere here, but usually you're going to play somewhere around over the sound hole or in a case of an electric guitar, just where your hand naturally um, sits, okay? That's the proper way to hold the pick, and usually you'll hold it between the thumb and the first finger. You'll see some folks hold it between the thumb and the second, or the, the thumb and the middle finger. You'll see some folks hold it like this, with the, with the first and second and the thumb, and you'll see some folks hold it between the thumb and the knuckle like this. I don't suggest that. One, because once that pick starts coming out of your, your fingers, you don't really have a way to get it back. Whereas like this, you can maneuver it. So try not to hold the pick like this. Try to hold it between the thumb and the first finger. That's gonna help out a lot. All right, my friends, without 
you know, we don't want to get too extensive here. I got tons of videos to help you out with. Make sure you go to the get the first 30 lessons that I teach all my students here in Nashville. Would love to help you out. I'm Eric Andreas, your guitar sage. Uh, please spay and neuter your animals. Be kind to one another. Don't trust the man. I'm on Twitter and Facebook and all that good stuff. Would love to help you out there. Thumbs up. Subscribe. Leave your comments below. Practice your guitar. See you.